In this episode of Mattressology, we are going to talk about when should you get a new mattress topper or when should you replace a new mattress. So let's go. Okay, mattress toppers, they come up quite a bit. Customers are, it's a great solution to have. You know, mattress, instead yeah. of replacing your mattress, mm -hmm. should I get a topper, a little pad to soften it up? So is there ever a good time to get a mattress topper? Yeah, I mean, if the, the time to get a mattress topper is if your current mattress has good support already, yeah. right? If it's already providing the support, it's not sagging and dipping, then you know what? And you just need to give a little more comfort to it. Yeah, yeah. You I know. mean, if your mattress is not that old, and like when I say not that old, I'm talking about like, I think one or two years at least, you know? Yeah. Because one or two years, if you got a decent mattress, you should still have good support in the mattress, you know? Mm -hmm. But if it's just too hard out for you, then you might want to get a mat mattress topper. You probably just save the money instead of having to get a new mattress. The topper may be the best solution for you. Yeah. You know? Easier to switch out too if you already got the good, like the guts, the support, the base underneath it, right? Yes. You just, hey man, just need a little bit more pressure relief. Topper's gonna, yeah, topper definitely save you some money instead of swapping the whole thing out. Yes. Now, when should you not get a mattress topper? You oh. say, do not get a mattress topper. <laughs> this is probably, we see this all the time. People are getting a top, throwing a top from their mattress when it's sagging and they're trying to get yes. as much years out of that mattress as they can, but it's like, man, you're just gonna get a soft hole. Yes, you know? they're squeezing that turn up, man. They're just trying to get as much juice out of that rock as, as they can. And there is dead. That mattress is dead. Yes. I have, I've seen it, man, I'm waking up back pain. My mattress got a big old dip in it. And then they're gonna put a topper right on top of that. I think that's the solution. They got duct tape, springs are popping out. I think we need to get a new mattress yeah. topper. It's not the solution. You're just gonna get in a softer dip, a softer hole. Time to get a new mattress. It's time to get a new mattress. So yes, um, yeah, do not get a new mattress if that's your case. But again, if you have good support, it's not that bad of a mattress, then you might consider it. Save a few hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks. That might be the solution. However, if you do get a mattress topper, what are the things you need to consider? Yeah, I mean, it, it, a couple things. One is what, you, what are you trying to solve, right? Is mm -hmm. it, man, I just need to get a little bit softer. That yep. may be like a two inch topper will work. Two inches, yeah. Because what, what we do is mostly three, three inch layers, right? Toppers are gonna be found two inches or three inches mostly, mostly. you know? We, we do we do mostly like this. There's memory foam toppers, which is probably the most common you'll find just about anywhere. Bed Bath & Beyond, Costco, Co Amazon, all that Walmart, stuff. Walmart, right? yeah. Target, yeah, all of those, you know? Or we've got latex toppers, and they're gonna feel quite a bit different. Mm -hmm. They both can still accomplish it, making it something softer. So there are some things, you know, to consider, like what kind of feel you're looking for, you know? And then we have a whole video on like things to consider when shopping for a new mattress. That, a lot of that can pertain also to a topper yeah. as well. But yeah, two inches or three inches. Um, usually the three inches is definitely gonna feel quite a bit softer than a two inch one, even though yeah. it's only an inch more. And then also though, if you're getting into topper, one thing I don't like about toppers is that you put on top and then it moves around. It uh, starts sliding around and then they, they start hanging off the bed. Even if you put your sheets over it, they still end hanging off. So that's pretty annoying when you're getting a topper. So one thing I would definitely consider is, um, is having a topper with corner straps that actually grab the mattress. Mm -hmm. So it's not moving around and tossing and turning. We're not tossing and turning, but sliding around. Yeah, that'd be weird if it's tossing and turning. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Yeah, don't, for if you're tossing and turning, the mat, the, the topper just sliding around. I mean, that is a good thing to consider because we get that customer just came in, you know, saying that his wife would, you know, when she would go on the bed, she, the topper would slide over and yeah. just move around and disrupt her sleep too. And so, yeah, getting those corner, you know, the corner supports. You know, the straps would be good to keep it all in place. Yes, so those are the things to consider. Should you get a new topper or should you get a new mattress? Mm -hmm. So hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, either give us a call or leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notifications. And also, what else do we have? Yeah, we have a mattress shopping guide. Download it and it gives you some more, you know, mattress shopping tips. Right. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you.